Hello again, this is Nerd Darai, and we are playing Nin Boja 3, Ninja Kami. Uh, right off, I want to explain that the, um, when it said the last, the intro was inspired by the last Boja 3 game, this, the Boja game that came out before this was an extended pack to this game, so it came out before this and was extended, so we'll be playing that one last. There will be, this is the third of the fourth Bojas, I checked, and there are four. So, like three and a half, basically, because there's these three, and then one more. So, um, basically, right off, Boja's best is just basically the best high scores. So, let's get off and play. Story. Yokai and his evil helpers have stolen an Amamori, or Amamori, amulet from the caves of Kami, and in turn disrupted the balance of the ninja spirit, this one's a little weirder than the other two. Reclaim the Amamori, or Amamori, and return it to the caves of Kami. Just call him Matarasu. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. So right off, we'll, we'll be with, um... These guards. So, what you gotta do? You can't sit down there. As we just experienced. No, you gotta wonder. What was, what was in those crates anyway? Better not be booty dancing ninjas. Yeah, that's, that's probably jumping the shark. I'll tell you that much. How did he not notice that we opened the door? But. So in this game, your score is a little di more different than the other, than the other ones. The first one was how many clicks he did, I think. The second one was, I think it was also time. I really don't remember, even though I just played it yesterday, because that was when I was recording it. I record these and upload them on the same day or the day after that. Well, that was easy. So yeah, you're you got a uh, very good amount of time. And if it runs out, nothing happens if your time runs out. Uh, make sure you click the lock so you shoot it. There we go. Otherwise, we're ju otherwise you'll just keep swerving out of your way. Uh, there we go. There's a specific point that you gotta click on this game. Right off, you can see that the graphics are different. And of course, I say right off, right when we're not at the beginning. But, let's try to ram him. Well, that doesn't work, so we just do the second best thing. We jump off. You've got the Amamori, or Amamori. I really don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. This game has a lot of Indiana Jones references in my book. First, there was the giant rock in the first game. And now there's the whole desert sandy thingy. I don't know if it was Sam when Indiana Jones was under the car, but I know that he was under a car at some point. Dancing, 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 dancing. Booty dancing! Yes! Now watch this. <laughs> I am a horrible person. I am a horrible person to the one called the Red Pudge. <laughs> His last words were yum 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 yum. Dead people aren't supposed to blink. Faulty, I call faulty. Very easy. I wouldn't call it a puzzle. I would call it a, a crappy large logic thing. If you don't know what to do there, you're kind of... You're not the best in luck. So right off, you see three doors. 
Let's go into the first one. Well, it looks like we can't do anything in here. We need some more water. Let's go into the second one. Well, here's how you get the water, but there's no crank. Hmm. Guess that leads it up to the third door. And indeed it does, because this is the door we're supposed to go into. First, at least. I picked up a wooden wheel. Yes, we did, game. Yes, we did. Let's go back into the second room and place that in. Yay, more water. Woohoo. So now we can go into the first room and leave. So I guess if you were wanting to do a speed run of this, you could just do three clicks, then three clicks, then three clicks, and that'll get you where you need to go. So we need to get this bridge across somehow. Hmm, let's try... Shooting the lever. Oh, beaver. Well, that doesn't work. Let's try to get him out of the way. Wouldn't the arrow, like, go through his skull? I mean, seriously. So, let's try shooting the water tank. It, yeah, again, probably one of the most obvious things in the game. Figuring out what to do right there. Done. Boom. And no, this is not slow down. This is how slow he actually walks because the wind turbines are still spinning. Okay, I'm experiencing a little bit of slow down, but that won't turn up in the video, and that's not too bad. Even if it does turn up in the video. Just shut up. Whining gets you nowhere. Whoa. My bad. So sorry about that. I did not mean to. Let's get the screen up. Probably just cut that out. <laughs> well, now that I said I'll cut it out, I probably won't because then you won't know what I'm cutting out. Oh, I wanted to run him, o run him over. Hmm. Run and grab the gun. No. Fine. Run and grab the wings. No. Run and grab the pilot. No. Okay, fine. We'll do it the easy way out. Just pick up the Jeep and throw it at him. Wah, wah, wah. Run, robot man, run. Now I'm experiencing a lot of slowdown. But of course, like I said, that won't turn up in the video. Let's try to grab the... Never mind. Well, I wanted to grab these other two nuts and bolts, but apparently he won't let us do that. So I guess we'll just have to be mini punch to do that. So here's a commercial. I'll be back in a minute. Sorry for speaking 
a little bit fast. The, I forgot about the commercial and how it came up or how it would come up, so I needed to say that really fast. Well, we can't push it. So might as well just go back down and give up. Shoot him in the eye. Wee! Oh, why just step forward? See, that would have solved this problem so much easier. But of course, no, we've got to hit that. I forgot to hit that. My bad. I thought you could go without it and then shoot it from up here. But apparently, he won't shoot from afar. Or, did I say a, a close? That looks gruesome, even for a robot. Now, that always looked like a goat or something to me. I guess it could be a face like. There's an eye, there's an eye, there's a mouth, and there's an eye, there's an eye, there's a nose. But I always thought it was like, that whole thing is an eye, there's a mouth, and then there's the nostrils. But no. So this jerky bull won't let us inside. And no, I didn't mean bull. I meant he looks like a bull. But, so you just gotta remember, star, green hornet, ninja star, easter egg. Star, green hornet. Ninja Star Easter Egg. And now he'll let us inside. Now this is really slowing down for me. Probably the most slowdown I've had in this game. It wasn't this bad in the um or not original tape, but like my practice run. What do you mean you don't know what to do? A giant door just opened. Idiot. So, if you had played Banjo Kazooie ever, you know what to do. N I N J A K A Ninja Kami, the name of the game. So, if you were ever to um to just mess up on that, which I don't see how you could. Well, I have done that before, so I guess. But, um, if you manage to mess up on that game, then you will just have to, then all the letters will appear again. Now, I didn't see this part and whenever I was, um, playing on my practice file, so I didn't know that ghostly thing came up. I was like, what is this? Congratulations, you completed the mission, but Yokai is still free. Click here to play the expansion, The Fall of Yokai, at www.pencilkids.com. Final time, 72,638 seconds. Or milliseconds, or centiseconds, or something. But, Yokai is still afoot. <laughs>